So let's take a look at scaling inside Premiere Pro Effects. So here we have a few examples. We have a, a 1080p, a 5K, and here we have more of a vertical resolution. So if I were just to go to any of these effects here, in this case, I'm just gonna go to FX Master Studio. I'm just gonna double click on a shot here. It's a camera shake effect. You're gonna see as I'm in the 1080p, this auto scales right away. And then I can just switch over to the vertical iPhone type of resolution, double click. And it's just gonna auto scale right to that shot as well. And I'm just gonna go to something like transitions here. Double click on a swipe. Now switch over to 5K. Again, just add another transition, put my marker right between the two shots. Double click, boom. So very fast, everything auto scales very nice. And you're gonna get the auto scale feature with almost all the different effects, transitions, colors. And I'll just do one more in the DVC Pro 1080p. Just do a fade, double click, boom. So simple, fast. All these different categories, you should have no problem auto scaling. I do want to point out the one subcategory is going to be inside your Screen Master Effects Studio, and that's going to be your multi screen kit. Now, the multi screen kit were built more for broadcast type of measurements. However, you just might have to just tweak a little things. So, it's not going to auto scale perfectly. So, in this case, if I were to just double click on a 1080p, here you can see everything fits perfect. I can just double click in each placeholder, place my image or shot. However, I'm just gonna switch over to the vertical resolution. And if I double click here, you're just gonna see this type of result. So what you want to do is just highlight your placeholder. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna highlight the placeholder number two. I'm gonna go into my effects controls and I'm just gonna scale this up. And I'm gonna reposition it and just tweak it how I need this to fit. All right, so now, there we go. Again, I'm just gonna delete that. Now I'm gonna go in the 5K for a minute. And here, it's pretty good. Again, we're, we're still getting that edging. So what we have to do is once again, go into our effects control, highlight each placeholder, and just scale it out a little bit and then readjust the position if we, uh, if we need to. And that way everything's kind of fit and working how we need. Again, so it's gonna be your multi-screen kit where you're just gonna have to adjust a little bit of the scale and position depending on the resolution. Now, if you're in a 1080p resolution, a 4K that's, you know, 4096, by uh, 2304, everything's gonna fit perfect, but it's some more of these vertical positions that you get with phones or more like anamorphic that you gotta just do a little readjustment here. Now I wanna make a couple notes regarding the VHS effects. First, we're gonna look at the looks that have time code specifically. So if I double click on one of the VHS effects with the time code, we're gonna get a bottom layer that's our time code layer. Now inside there, if you wanna make adjustments to the time code and extend it or change it or resize it, we wanna double click on this time code nest. We can extend that layer. And now you can see we can extend the time code. So again, double click on that nested time code, extend the layer however far you need. Now the next note, going back to the time code, if I were to go to a, a higher resolution like 5K, I double click, you're gonna see that the time code appears smaller. 
So what we want to do is once again, double click into our time code nest. And we can always just scroll this out as far as you need to extend the time code. So we can see if we go back into our timeline, everything extends out. However, I want to go back inside this time code nest so we can change some features of the time code. So we want to highlight this FX master layer inside our nest. And that's where you're going to see the time code. So in there, you can simply just change the side and change all the features of the time code. And you can see it right there. And everything, when you go back to your timeline, is going to be changed. So those two areas between the multi-screen and the time code for the VHS effects just require just a little bit of tweaking. And that's it. Enjoy. <laughs>